Traders War Room proudly presents the daily video with the best trading and investing alerts anywhere on any platform with up-to-date stock, chart, and market news. TWR is simply your one-stop shop. Sunday Motivator. What is up, team? Chuck with Traders War Room, and I'm back at you with another video. Guys, this is your Sunday Motivator, and I hope everyone had a happy Easter, okay? It's good to do other things than the stock market, guys. We hang out with the family. We hang out with friends. We hang out with our loved ones. I went and saw my mother at the hospital. I barbecued with my kids. I watched some movie with the family. We're having a great time during this holiday season, so I hope you did as well. But as we transition into next week, it is a new market and a new week, and we got to get ready to go out there and absolutely destroy it. So I got a great video for you. I got some upcoming events at the end of the video. I hope you stay in tune for the entire video because you do not want to miss what we got going on. And we got the new market merchandise line put out there. And don't forget about that Easter Sunday discount. I still got in effect until 10 o'clock tonight. So if you want 50% off a of Trader's War Room, Come and get it, baby. Let's go all access, and I hope to see you on the trading floor. Without further ado, if you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war together, team. Trades War Room, baby. Let's get it right now. Before we get started, I want to remind everybody of the TWR Easter discount. 50% off Traders War Room, all access. You get everything we offer. We want you to join the team and trade with TWR. You'll get tons of training and alerts, but it's so much more. We want to truly grow, learn, and share together as a unified team of market warriors. The deal ends Sunday, so definitely take advantage, and the discount link is in that description. Stay tuned at the end for TWR Hot Products and Services. Hot Trends. Here's how your markets closed on the last trading day last week. Everything was green and we had a pretty decent push to the upside with the Dow kind of flattening out a little bit towards the close, kind of leveling out and trying to hold that positive territory. Futures are mostly green after the long holiday. However, we pay attention to the pre-market and see where we lie once we get closer to opening up. Call and put premium, lean it a little bit more towards the bull side. I'd give this a 60-40 to the bull. Dark pool, no surprise. You got SPY leading the way with the uh, triple Qs coming in second. But we got NVDA, Apple, and Microsoft all being honorably mentioned in the dark pool. And last week, here are your sector performances. Basically, consumer discretionaries, or excuse me, communication services and utilities were the big winners in closing out the last week. Energy and materials were the big laggers, with energy taking the lion's share of that loser effort. Here's your top trending stocks that are being pushed out on everyone's watch list, so we're definitely paying attention to some of these. And we got the beginnings of the earnings season craze coming in so we got to pay attention to those as well and here are your earnings calendar the most anticipated earnings thank you earnings whispers basically not really too much getting into this week but it's kicking it off we're going to see the airlines we're going to see some banks and there's a few other pockets of opportunity as well hot off the press all right, so big news is still hidden in the oil sector. Oil edge is higher on prospects of tighter supply. Basically, we're getting into this oil supply and demand with the OPEC type of decisions that they made. So we'll be looking at the energy sector, specifically in the oil and refinery sectors, for potential continuation to the upside and possible breakouts from some consolidation levels that they've seen here recently. So definitely put those on your radar and pay attention to them. Banks are still in the news everywhere around the globe. The Bank of Japan Governor Ueda is to hold an inaugural news conference on Monday at 10.15 GMT time. And basically, he's going to talk about the central bank and the deputy and governors are saying that they'll begin their terms later this month. And they will also talk to the press about what the BOJ says. So it'll be interesting to see how Japan is going to structure their banking issues and how it'll trickle over into the United States economy and for a little bit of a part, the world economy as well because banks are still hot ticket items, guys. We're not out of the woods. JPM has said more th than uh, once and twice about the banking financial crisis. Also, the analysts are saying pay attention to a lot of bank mergers and acquisitions coming out of the woodworks here soon. So definitely still news, still relevant, and we're paying attention. 
And gold took a dip on stronger dollar after U.S. payroll data. So April 10, gold prices fell on Monday as the dollar firmed after the U.S. non-farm payrolls reported point to a tighter labor market and raised the odds of another rate hike by the Fed Reserve and its May policy meeting. So basically, we're looking at kind of some um, issues and a change in the market. So we were going through a lot of this market thing here recently where good news was bad news for the market and bad news was good news for the market now we're kind of getting into back into a normal rotation where good news is good news and bad news is bad news now the market still wants a cooler economy because the cooler economy brings the idea that the federal government may be closer to pausing or keeping their rate hikes at low levels. So that's what the market is intending to do. The market keeps wanting to go up. It keeps wanting to blow out. And it looks like we want to go back up and retest the 410 and the 420 on the SPY. So definitely we're paying attention, seeing if we can ride this momentum train, but be understanding that once we hit those key levels, you know, pushing to the upside 410 we should expect the pullback okay yes could it go past and hit 412 absolutely it could but the further it goes past those key levels the steeper the decline is okay so you just got to be ready head on a swivel and we're ready to attack both ways long short it doesn't matter we're following the trend and we're riding the waves stocks i like let's talk about the airlines i like dal potentially for a move higher at least going into earnings earnings will be a tell on the airline industry as a whole and we can expect some volatility i think pushing through the airlines going into delta airlines earnings and then we'll have the other airlines as well in closing out these near-term weeks but i do like to push to the upside i think we have about a one dollar to two dollar move that we could capitalize on from current levels here and potentially we could see a breakout on some spectacular earnings sympathy trade off of delta airlines we like american airlines as well i think that we held the bottom and rejected it pretty hard so i do think we got a potential for a nice push here on closing up into the 14 and 15 dollar area so we'll be looking for the momentum in the airlines going into this earnings week specifically in the mid part of the week and we'll see if we can capitalize on a decent trade so i got the top line and the bottom line triggers right there but i'm a little more leery of going any further to the downside unless the airlines earnings as a whole are crap from delta then we probably can start shorting the stock other than that i'm going to be looking for the upside Banks are in focus again coming into the end of the week. We got some heavy hitters in the banking sector on Friday. I like Wells Fargo for a potential retest of higher levels. Um, we could easily break out of this higher level and go on as long as we see some stability back into the banking sector. So I'd like to see some push going into bankings. Obviously, the earnings will be a tell signal on specifically how these guys are doing, but I'd like to see the push because we probably won't see their deposit issues being affected into their earnings call until the next quarter. Bank of America, it's a little um, different odd stock compared to some of the other ones that are moving we're kind of getting into some consolidation period here which i actually like because long periods of consolidations with little to no move or staying within ranges is usually a signal of a breakout or a breakdown that's about to happen so i do like bank of america to the upside i think going in shares accumulation and also going ahead and looking for those leap options are a good idea on bank of america at this price i can't really see bank of america going any lower um, it doesn't have the fundamental issues that some of the other meme stock banks had and i do like this for potential to the upside going into bank earning season apple i'm a little bearish on apple i think apple has ran pretty hard it almost spiked out of that 167 that high of 167 is a psychological edge now i do think that we can get back up to that level apple's extremely popular so we got the top line and the bottom line trigger i'm just leery of once we get back up to these elevated levels 
where we'll see some of that profit taking. And I think that we got some cool down coming in this particular ticker. I would not be surprised if here in the next couple of weeks that we're floating back around the 155, even the 150 area on Apple, just from people taking profits and the cool off period before we start the next leg up in Apple. Microsoft. I'm only really interested on this one to the downside. It has ran and it has ran super, super hard. Okay, so eventually we're going to see that buyer's exhaustion going into this ticker and we're going to get the pullback that people have been expecting for a while. So I'm not really looking to chase this to the upside. Now, yes, could we eventually hit you know 300, maybe even 310 on some continued pressure to the upside? Absolutely. But I do think that we're going to start seeing some buyer's exhaustion up here as we have ran extremely hard in microsoft and i would be looking more for the reversal from the top to catch a downward spiraling effect that could push us about five to six dollars to the downside i like tesla um i think that tesla has been beat up here pretty pretty decently i do think that we're at a part kind of a position now where we're kind of broadening to the downside where we'll start to find that support and we'll probably reject from the support to the upside so i am bullish on tesla i do think this building a battery factory over there in shanghai is a bullish move for the company as a whole you know i wish they were doing it here in the u.s but you know such as it is i still think that it's a decent push and from the broadening pattern that we have eventually it's going to break it's going to break one way or the other way so i do think that we break to the upside and we can recapture some of those higher levels close to the 200 upcoming events i want you guys to check out the official twr merchandise line guys you can go to that link right there or we got the link in the description but man we got your swag right here check out these hats man one size fits all fitted hats with the twr logo we got all sorts of different t-shirts and we got them sizes all the way up to 3x and we got not just the t-shirts but we got the hoodies because we want you guys to be comfortable in any weather check us out today again go right there for the official tw merchandise line and that link is in the description next class we have is on 23 april 1 p.m central standard time we want you to sign up today on our website and learn how to chart and trade patterns i'm going to be instructing this class 15 dollars gets you a seat in the class and you keep the recording and i got questions about this man if you can't make it to our live classes no issues man all you got to do is just sign up and make sure that you register your name after you get the link in your email and I'll send you the recording after it's done. Not an issue, man. We accommodate everyone here. We just want to get you guys the great trading at the great prices that we offer. So I hope to see you in class 23 April, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Remember, purchase the class on the website, and we want you to plan for battle. And we do that with TWR classes so that we can make that market bend that knee. And finally, we are taking pre-registration for the upcoming TWR Investment Club Christmas Club. Basically, we're going to invest the money starting the 1st of May and going all the way until the 1st of December, getting six months of good trading. And we're going to liquidate the account 1 December just in time for Christmas so that you guys can have a fantastic holiday. If you're interested or you've done one of our clubs before and you want to get back into it, not an issue. Go to that link right there, sign up, and get more information. Or you can always hit us up at traderswarm at gmail.com and we can get you guys the information you want. But definitely, this is one of those clubs that we keep growing and keep growing and people keep asking us for things and we're coming here to deliver. So hopefully we see a lot of you guys at the Christmas Christmas club and we can go ahead and get you guys a little santa gift in your gift basket right in time for the holidays the market is our war zone and stocks are the battle join twr and let's go to war make the market bend the knee in 2023 join traders war room and bow to no one let's go to war